Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel and today I'm working on my third panel which is middle size, medium size panel it's a third from five panels and this panel has a side of the house and uh, which the panel that I already finished connected to this house and then we have in here looks like a hay on the bottom with some fans and then looks like in here it's gonna be the tree with the red berries in here so as you can see I finish a lot up there the sky portion looks absolutely gorgeous I love beads from uh, floating styles website look how beautiful the shade and the, the beads are gorgeous guys in here uh, so I am working just starting with this pretty gray color look how even those beads are and I will place them on a symbol like those lines in here so I just wanted to show you first where I am and how much I did all the way to the bottom I placed some beads already in here as well so now I'm gonna set my camera and if you like to work with me a little bit more than welcome stay as you can see outside it's a beautiful sunny day all snow is gone sun shining and really you want to talk shadow you want to talk oh you're a little fluffy monster he is so pretty. He is so pretty. He my adopted baby. I think he's around six years old now. Spoil a little brat. All right. No talking on camera. I'm talking, okay? No, I'm talking. You're not talking. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, you you can see like he's like to talk. He like to. What 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 what? There. There. He wants to climb now on my lap so I can pet him. He think he own me. There. Okay. Okay. No, he's trying to get up to the chair. <laughs> Puppy's toy up there. My puppy not feeling well today, so I have to watch for him. His nose hot. Yes, I know. He's uh laying down on the ground and his nose warm so we'll see maybe how he going later on outside and um maybe we'll have to take him to the hospital tomorrow okay so here we are i have a very yappy talking cat right now here so i'm gonna spend time few minutes pat him so he will be quiet and then we can drill together my cat is something he just want to talk and want some attention all of a sudden he liked to brush his fur he loved it he was just like you can hold the brush and he will rub himself into it and having a blast all right so this symbols i don't have like a big patch in one spot so we're gonna move my canvas around all the time the most area there was lots of colors i finished by myself and um because the, all this uh colors kind of canvas dark symbols uh, like in here dark it's nice and bright on the camera but when you drill it's not very um, good to see and i was drilling that evening time which is dark already outside and I don't have a uh, help from you know extra sunlight so it's good to work with the light pad and now I'm just kind of picking which symbol stand out the most and that's what I go after first I pick in a color that is like the most color of it like a big patches and then I do which symbol stand out from the rest of so it's easy to find on a canvas and then 
um, yeah just like this from one to another and I just go from the top of the canvas and go down by using a clear sheet as my um, field not to stick to the canvas I was uh, recording video but something kind of very different um, so I finished record I just have to f few more episodes to edit uh, it's about actions shopping um, my husband and I went to auction and then I got some goodies up there and I thought well might as well just have some fun video and maybe uh, show you what I got at the auction because some of that stuff I will use for my crafty purposes or for the video so yeah I will show you the video maybe maybe after this one till I edit them together I don't know if you would be interested in it or not but just a little bit something different to break the, you know, thing about diamond paint and everything. So that's going to be shopping haul from Action. I love to go to Action. You can find such a good stuff for a good price. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But it's just a fun environment to be in. It's just lots of laughs and the way you bet and people joking cracking jokes the action years sometimes is really funny so time from time we go sometimes we don't buy nothing sometimes we spend fortune but it's all good it's good actually to go action at this time of the year to buy a few presents for Christmas and lots of people were doing just that, buying a presents for Christmas for their families. Especially, uh, for example, if um, your family member like lots of sports, there's always up there lots of pictures of hockey and some jersey uh, pictures. If you like art, there's always lots of good arts up there everything and this action was a little bit different than the other we like to go because it was like everything a little bit of everything so there's two different action company we went so far even three but one we didn't buy nothing it was almost like a junk action four no actually four different people action we went um, last year. This year we went only twice I think. One time we didn't buy nothing, didn't find nothing and this time we spent some money but it's good stuff. You will see. So I think the way I move in with this canvas, I'm pretty, I have a good feeling that I will finish um, soon. Because as soon as I start, it's like only I need to start and then everything will fall in places. So now this canvas finished maybe like 40% if I add all beads together in one place just because they like scatter everywhere on the canvas so it's hard to tell what percentage of the canvas you finish but um, I think like a 40% so soon as I start I work hard on it and many hours if nothing disturb me so I think maybe in two or three weeks in a mix with other canvases 
I should be finished this before Christmas for sure. And I really want to finish like sooner than better. And when you have a uh, like pleasant feeling to work on a canvas, that it's go faster. And I think lots of you will be agree that you know, when you enjoying with canvas, that it's go faster as well, instead of something go wrong and you just get frustrated and you don't want to touch the canvas for a while. So that's a different story. But guys, if you're looking for good canvases, I definitely recommend this one. So the only thing I will be um, reviewing on the end, it's about we hope that we're going to have a beads left over and not uh, short. So when I speak to the owner, I speak to Wendy about a uh, bead situation. Well, no, actually, she was listening to my video and she said that... Um, most of the time they do not have problems with shortage of drills. It could happen like, you know, thousand to one. So that's a very uh, good, it's good to me to hear that thousand of one. So that, that's good. It's mean most of the canvases, you always going to have a beads left over. So we'll see, we'll see. So lots of you shop on Aliexpress on a sale and I didn't. So every time I go look on Aliexpress and I just can't really find exactly what I want. At that point just to buy for the sake of buying I kind of stopped doing that. Uh, I don't know. It's already a few times you guys asking me to review art club uh, canvases and what I think about them and I don't know what about this company. I do not own not even one canvas and for some reason I'm not, I don't want it, I don't know why. Maybe because they have only, do they have a square drills? I think they have only round drills. And maybe that's why it's keeping me away from the website or, um, I don't know. Do they have a square drills? If, if they have a square drills diamond paintings that I would like to buy and review for you. But if it's only round drills that I kind of, I have so many round drills. And my favorite always will be square. Um, so I don't know. Let me know if they have a square drills canvases and I will purchase one. Okay. See, like when I put my mindset on those lines uh, symbols that I kind of it's very easy to see them in a bunch of mix of the other one they kind of like just popping into your eyes so um, next one what I would do I would go like after you because it's a colorful like a bright red and not many red in here left colors anymore this one was uh, V, I think. That's what it's in. Um, I'm gonna tell you in a minute. Uh, yeah, I, I think V or Y. No, or I didn't do it. Y. So anyway, this is would be like no Y. I didn't do it. So that's gonna be probably V under this one, red one. But definitely, I would go like after U, then maybe after C because I can see them much like faster because it's color or like this one uh, symbol stand out for me so I always pick something that I think it would be easy and faster to do and just go through the whole canvas without changing too often drills and it makes me create my diamond painting quicker 
and as, that, as much as I like to enjoy with this canvas and do slow but because it's a seasonal diamond painting yes I'm kind of speeding up and I want to finish this canvas sooner if this would be like a flowers or something I would stretch this canvas for a longer time to drill Okay, sometimes I go off the camera, sorry, uh, because uh, symbols are kind of everywhere and sometimes I place without looking where the symbol is. Go to the corner, I saw somewhere here one. You see what's interesting about this canvas that like a, feels like it's all finished in here, but then you have a line on each side of kind of it's like a trim go all the way around see like it's totally like a different lines of symbols go and create kind of like a lines around the other because from this colors what I place in here none of them have an edge so that's what kind of looks like a border I don't know we'll see when I finish this one and we're gonna put two pieces at least together like this one and my smaller panel that I already finished and then we will see how they look like together so I might just gonna keep this video recording recording until I finish this canvas so not to keep you wait longer to see the finishing of this panel and look I have in here one around bit right there sneak to the square drills okay I think I will need to my canvas sideways because it doesn't fit under camera and let's see it's on this we're gonna be sideways working we're gonna start from the bottom part or maybe I'm just gonna flip all the way around so it's gonna be upside down for me but the right view for you yay finally gonna see symbols proper way <laughs> usually when I drill it's always upside down for you and it's probably not as nice thing to to watch symbols upside down but it's uh, sometimes when it's numbers it's easier for me to see because some numbers could be tricky, right? Like six or nine. Okay, this is squeaky. I'm gonna peel this sheet a little bit out and put parchment paper instead. And I think that will make it less squeaks. Also, I can use here a little bit, I don't know if it's going to be less squeaks or not, but I can use here, oh, hold on, there we are, here we are, we can place a few of them on, a, with the multiplacer, okay. No, it's still squeaking, guys. I'm sorry. Even parchment paper. Oopsie. Making noises. Okay, 
and it looks like I want it. Okay, looks like in here a few of them. And you know what, let me just put a little bit more beads so they line up a little bit more. Those drills are beautiful. That should do. I will try to keep my arm in one spot and just move my wrist like this so it's less squeaks from the parchment paper. And because I record in so many videos in here and some of you find annoying my clock ticking so I don't even turn my clock on anymore. It's just hanging in a wall as a decoration, to be honest. See, I'm trying my best, you guys, to listen to you and do as you wish. Now I'm just gonna, I'm keeping a, my hand in the air and placing the beads that way I don't touch squeaky base. So it's quiet now. I can't get over it how beautiful these drills are. It's so much fun to place when drills are good quality. The black one not as nice as this one, unfortunately. Who's excited for Christmas? My kids keep teasing me because my son buying me some present from his own money that he work and he say I will love it. They tease me and I was like oh my god do I want to know or I don't want to spoil my surprise. So I keep teasing them. Come on what is this? Is a hint? Do I wear? Do I use? Do I eat? What is it? And they just not telling me, of course. So, yes, looks like Santa's coming for me with something very exciting. My kids are awesome.
Okay, where we are. We have a few symbols in here. And then we have to move canvas again. Okay, let's see. Open a little bit in here and we are going to this side. See, like it's not too many of these colors around here, so we just have to move around. I should pick like a bigger area to work with you, but this is how I work and that's okay for you to see how I work all, all over canvas and flipping and turning, so if some of you don't do this way, you can try it. I see I missed one all the way where 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 I saw somewhere right there there you can see better on camera because the symbols much bigger for you than I see them <laughs> right here we have some patch of them Time flies fast. Oh, hmm. Long time ago, I started to drill my diamond painting that I printed myself, and that's a roses from my garden. And I think I started with. Oh no, square drills. Oh yeah, I did start it with square drills, but because it's a roses, so most of the colors like pink and lots of green, and I kind of finished those DMC and I didn't have any more, so I'm just like, okay, waiting for more canvases to finish, and uh, all I do that diamond painting with the leftovers drills what I have. But the way I printed out, it looks like some drills um, not big enough. I do have a little bit of gap in. So yeah, or I printed a little bit wrong size or or beads. Air smaller, I don't know. So anyway, that was my like a first try. But it's okay to learn. And Someday I will show you. I didn't touch that for a while now. I think since last year I placed few beads and then I ran out of those colors and I put away lots of pinks up there and I do not have pinks canvases too many and if I do mostly of them in round shapes so now I'm thinking I should better start with the round drills them, but that's okay. No rush. I will do slowly. No matter how long it's gonna take me to do, I will do it. Come on, puppy. Come on, puppy's coming. Come on, lay down the sofa. Just a minute, guys. Come on, puppy. Come here. Come here, lay down. Oh, my poor puppy. Oh, he knows got cold. Oh, good. Looks like fever maybe go away. Uh, I don't know what happened. Or he ate something, pick maybe outside while playing. Because I touched his nose half an hour ago, it was hot. And now it's cold and wet. So that's good. 
Buddy, go drink some water. Go drink some water, puppy. Oh. Okay. It's always worry. No matter who, kids or animals, they get sick. You worry kind of same way as your animals. It's your kids too. And he is such a loyal puppy. He's the best friend for sure of human being. And cat for some reason, he will beg of, like, he will mow and mow beg of the, for the treats from everyone. And he will try everyone, trust me. Whoever will give him a treats, he will go to everybody and pretend like he didn't eat for a week. But if he wants to be cuddle or rub his head or, you know, get uh, forehead to, to forehead buds with you, he would come to me only. So my little girl jealous. Oh, he don't love me. He love you only. I say, Catherine, he love everybody. It just, he probably feels that I am a cat person the most in the family. I always loved cats. And... He just more comfortable to come to me. Doesn't mean he don't love you. So yes, she a little jealous for that. So after finishing all these five panels, oh, I don't know, that's a lots of gray to work for such a long time. I'm like already craving for something more colorful, but thank goodness these <laughs> drills are very good, so I don't have a problem to work on this canvas but definitely lots of grays and so many shades so yeah it's like sometimes I surprise uh, how many of you work on uh, canvases there is a black and white or like lots of black colors and you just hope those drills are very good otherwise it would drive me nuts to finish in so many uh, black colors big part of the canvas and I think I think I'm waiting one of those canvases like this with the black will be black and white I think so it's not here yet and I'm just hoping the drills will be a good quality Okay, I think I'm going to stop now a little bit and then I will drill with you some different colors because I kind of forgot already that I want to finish this canvas in this video together with you. So uh, we already have a lots of time for this canvas. It's more than half an hour now. So I better drill now a little bit by myself and come with you with the finishing touches and then we will see how these two panels will look together. Okay guys, I will see you shortly. A little bit update. I finished quite a bit already. Um, I finished many colors on this particular panel and I think right now if I put all this 
beads together I would say maybe 70% of this panel I already finished and you know what's interesting I'm looking at right now through the camera and this particular part in here it's the top of the hay thing I already visually see the fans uh, like a country style fans and the way this tree look like in here because I place like color it looks like a moonlight hit on this tree and the or uh, street lights I think up there and lighten up this panel so it's already looking good I see this berries in the tree looks awesome so if you want to stay a little bit longer with me you know we have to finish this one and I will finish this canvas today but because I continue diamond painting with this panel on US Thanksgiving Day so guys all my friends who celebrate today I wish you happy Thanksgiving Day uh, stay together with your family love each other share happiness together and uh, you know just treasure each other as much as you can so now I'm gonna pick some beads actually I have in here I've been working last night a little bit number four and um, no this is number six but we're gonna place a number four symbol and I have lots of them in here so not not many bright colors in here mostly gray shades but uh, this is what we're gonna put it's the most of the color in here so I don't have to move my camera too much all right let me reposition my camera look how pretty bead got into this uh, mix I don't even have this kind of color on this canvas so from some different print beads show up in my baggie all right so we have lots of four in here and I'm sorry guys that the number is upside down for you uh, if I turn to your way I probably gonna place maybe on the wrong numbers it's kind of easier on the symbols but when it's number it's kind of mm, more easy for me to place them when they face me so I'm really apologize if this is not comfy for you so because I recorded this part of the video on your Thanksgiving day so and I'm planning to finish this canvas this panel of five panels canvas today uh, I will be too late for me to post um, so you will see this video probably the day after Thanksgiving and that's that's my plan for me that would be tomorrow for you it's today when you're watching okay I have to go this way just have to remind myself make sure I stay in the camera focus it was so windy yesterday which was Wednesday oh it was it was so cold so cold my little girl was playing a volleyball tournament from other school and they won game yesterday so that was exciting game to watch She's good at it. I think she should continue to do volleyball. She tries so many different sports, but I think volleyball, that's what she should continue because she's natural. She's hitting the ball nice and softly. She serves nice and she her kick like nice and um, I don't know, she's just good. And she's playing, this is first year ever, she never played before. Okay, I thought I have a lots of force in here now, not too many. Okay, a few in here.
I keep working on my crafty goodies, keep organizing. Spent few hours last night uh, by organizing them. Okay, where we are here. It's lots of boxes to go through and I didn't touch some of the stuff for like six, seven years. So can you imagine like kind of, you know, can't even remember anymore where is what and from so many times moving stuff around keep kind of forgetting where your stuff if you have to find something very quickly you just can't so I have to go through each drawer and see what I have lots of inks lots of color and pencils I really should color sometimes some images but I still didn't finish my paint by numbers so I have to do that first Okay, I have to move a little bit my canvas to shake it up. Just cut maybe this way. I'm gonna place in here. Yeah, there's not many exciting colors in here to drill together. I don't know if you like the idea, you know, it's all gray colors mostly. But in the mix, it's amazing how you can see already what is going on in this picture. And I really like the way it looks like a highlights already. It's amazing. What you can do with little squares. There was a video drill with me on Dreamer Design channel if you missed that. If you didn't follow us up there, please. I uh, create lots of videos for Dreamer Design as I am a brand ambassador on the team. And guys, I'm going to give you a heads up about if you're looking for Dreamers designs, a new release, new canvases, new designs, new artists, it will be available, we hope, on middle of January. They were really trying to bring this before Christmas, but, you know, the factory and stuff like that, um, there's lots of things that legally to do everything proper way uh, any the time so we receive message from the owner that images will be available not images canvases will be available in the middle of January sometime and I hope it will go through this time and there's lots of changes in the canvases itself. They listen to all your advices. They listen to all ambassadors, what we have to say, what improvements could be. So this canvas is supposed to be a very, very amazing. And uh, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what's going on. And to tell you the truth, I already know which new artist we will gonna have, and what kind of canvases we're gonna have, but I can't tell you, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I can't tell you. But lots of you gonna love it. It's a nice style. That's all I can say. Okay, I think I put the top of the canvas. I already okay. I'm gonna pull out canvas from under my tripod and I'm gonna reposition a little bit. I'm sorry about all this shaking, guys. Let me find a new spot. Um, so 
somewhere right in here a few few of them right in here Just if it happens to be your new viewer on my channel, I'm working right now just to remind you guys on floating styles design that was sent to me for the review. And I picked this image because it's really, really gorgeous image of five panels, village street, snowy night, a gorgeous panel so if you didn't see my unboxing uh, you can check out that video I will link it up for you uh, in the card on the end or on a card or end screen on the end of the video and there's also a discount code of 20% you can save money if you decide to order from this company And you in here. Canvas is not, not very expensive. I say it's they have a pretty good price for this canvases up there. So I'm surprised for this kind of quality they have a cheap canvases. Like cheap, like a good price for the poor arm glue. And so Sorry for my phone, just got a message and it's loud. So let me now finish this color by myself and I come back to you again in very soon. I pick very pretty color to work together with you. Look at those gorgeousness. Aren't they pretty colors? So soft. Uh, so we're gonna place, this is top of my trees, and we're gonna go after this kind of symbol. Look like a kite or something, I don't know. So I have many of these symbols in here, but I will have to kind of move my canvas a little bit around as this is almost like a, I call it, it feels like it's a finishing touches, but it is lots of uh, more colors to go. I finished already symbol four, symbol seven, and now I'm go after this one. Then I will do number one because number one I have Lots of be uh, lots of uh, symbols on the canvas of. Okay, I hope I'm placing them right. I'm talking about number one. I'm gonna place number one. Number one. This is again gray bluish color. So I think I'm just gonna create all the way uh, as I can by myself. The only if I came across or something pretty lighter color. Then we will do together, otherwise I'm just going to finish by myself maybe and come back to you with the finish canvas. Okay. So after I done this symbol and number one looks like the top of the trees will be done besides couple more uh, white in here I don't know what kind of color beads up there but I see the finish line definitely will finish this today very excited and it's gonna be left two more panels and I can display proudly somewhere in the house I have to find a place 
I don't know if it's the Christmas uh, coming. It's kind of the always house flipped like upside down because first of all you have to find a room for the Christmas tree uh, for other decorations so usually stuff in a house getting like you know shuffle for the other sides and just switch around and furniture and everything so I don't know which wall will be available for me to okay there the bead or drill I put my diamond painting in my new organizer those trunks that I got an auction and thank you so much everyone for letting me know two names that I did not know and to be honest it's gonna be hard for me to remember I have to few times to you know uh, remind to myself their name because when I grow up I didn't have those movies around me like I didn't grow up with those people like you would be here in Canada and US so you would know your uh, famous people for me, they were really like, you know, I didn't know them because I didn't see those movies maybe when I grew up. So for me, they were like nobody. Um, so yes, now I will know. And I think that the name actually on the top of the Strong's, uh, ex uh, well, for that guy at least, I think his name on it, it's like a flyer or something like on a teeter when, when you have artists come over to your city you would have a names all over of him so I think I have his name on Shrunk I have to check, double check um, and for her I didn't look but I lose her trunk <laughs> box I would say with her picture on top to my little girl because she say oh mom what you gonna do with this little box it would be perfect for my lip glasses and I see her that twinkle in her eye that she really wanted so I was like oh you wanna separate my boxes you wanna take one she just look and smile so I say, go ahead, you can have it. Really? She was so happy that I give it to her one of those boxes. So she scooped it right away, went to her room and started to organize her lip glosses, Vaseline, creams, stuff like that. So she was a happy bunny for all evening to reorganize her stuff. So now I have a three left for myself. So in a very big one, I put all my diamond paintings that is not finished and brand new, not start. So yes, I will show you one time how I organize and I will show you everything how I did. I just have to still tidy it up. And the other box smaller one I put all my kind of like a stickers for scrapbook and stuff mini albums and another box I just used for like a containers boxes that is uh, you can use for the projects but for now I don't need them so this is kind of going to be like a storage thing so I give rid of lots of boxes and the garbage 
now I don't need them like a cardboard boxes or some like a just a big boxes that temporarily was playing role for me as a storage so now I give it a lots of ugly stuff and we'll have pretty boxes organized uh, let me turn my canvas a little bit around so maybe we can find a space with more of the symbols in here on the bottom which is I'm gonna probably turn like this upside down for me and for you it will be I could bring my light a little bit you this time will face all the symbols guys I don't know what is going on but for some reason today I feel like my eyes is blurry I have twice already like this I don't know if a vision all of a sudden getting bad or just depends on the light how I work very uncomfortable I feel like 50% of vision just gone it's like very blurry symbols so I have no idea what is going on with me today so maybe after this color I will go and stretch in the hot tub relax a little bit close my eyes and give them a break from diamond painting maybe I diamond painting too much and ruin my eyes I don't know what do you think I don't have a diabetes usually people with diabetes have a blurry vision I do not have that so that's kind of concerning me Isn't a gorgeous color? This color is so pretty. On camera it looks like baby pink. For me it looks like um, I would say lavender but when you look in a, in a real lavender it's like a purple purple color. Uh, purplish blue but this is like hmm. Okay what's this color for you? Tell me. Lilas, I don't know. Also, on a mix with this shades of bright and blue, so because this is the uh, hay on the bottom of the canvas, so uh, this is like a highlight when the light street lights hit. And I think that's what this color is about to kind of like make it as a highlight. Very pretty. For those that I promised to have a video, have to iron canvas I actually have the video but it's just the name of the video a little bit different not exactly about ironing I think it's like a tips and tricks and stuff like that um, so yes or I need to change title of the video or actually redo video and post new one so everybody can see better because I realized that I do have a video like that already. It's just a title, not exactly correct. So if you just scroll down and when you come to my page, click on videos, it will show you all videos that I have. And uh, definitely you will find it. But I will create new one anyway because I need to iron one of the canvases. 
if you remember my unboxing I have those three panels that go from up down of the waterfalls that ca uh, canvas was really uh, wrinkle so I have to iron that one and switch clear sheet to parchment that, that's the best guys when you have a parchment paper you can exchange for the clear one if you don't like the clear sheets and it's the best way to iron with parchment paper it will smoothly stick to your glue without creating any new wrinkles okay let's just finish this one this one side we can do with the multiplacer so let me use multiplacer in here and we will see how we're gonna create lines straight or not here I like when uh, almost canvas is finished and just uh, like a few like this left and you just like finishing touches like so satisfying <laughs> okay a little bit more right in here and we're gonna be done with this color for now I'm just gonna do by myself more and honestly guys I'm just not comfortable right now with my eyes very very blurry so I think I need to have a break and then I come back to you as soon as possible and trust me I will miss you I thought I can shoot video a little bit longer, but when I edit all those clips together, it's this video probably will long. So I bet you already have your cup of tea together with you or drilling together with me, guys. I love when you drill together with me. Thank you so much. Um, okay, I will be right back when I uh, have a break a little bit, and because my eyes is really bothering me right now. So I will see you shortly. And here it is. Guys, I am so happy the way this diamond painting looks like so far. So we just finished this panel. And this is the one that I started first. Now we have a corner of the house connected to my last panel. And look how awesome details. You can see those fans the way we have in Ukraine. Uh, uh, hay or could be from wheat straw so animals would eat in the winter and then this gorgeous big tree you can see berries still in the tree and in here those two panels that not finished yet and you can see that there's a street lights up there and that's why top of this tree so nice and bright and light going in here you can see the highlight of it right you can see the chimneys going on up there, fireplace going. And look at this from kind of like a yellow, this, and this is the one that I already finished on the left side. So my next panel will be this one. And then grand finale for the big panel in the middle. And this is really, really long panel. I mean, this diamond painting are really good size. So you can see how like from foggy yellowish come to life and then you can see this fresh frosty bites that when you drill you don't see that but look how from far that look like like pure snow like white right but there's really barely any white beads in here and that's just so interesting I love it 
so yes thank you so much for staying with me this drill with me episode and I just wanted to show you how they connect of course if I would cut these borders then I would see better like connection but because I'm thinking of some special how I gonna uh, do for framing this I cannot cut this right now because I will have to see first uh, on my decision how I want to frame this all so I will keep it this way so my next panel we're gonna work on this house and that's what more, it's gonna be in more colors because we can see there's a light inside of the house so it's gonna be more yellow color as well and it's awesome awesome I love that big tree the way it look like and if you look in on the street lights there's feels like it's a snow falling right so that's going to be interesting I am in love with this canvas all right I will see you in my next drill with me episode or maybe some unboxing I don't know <laughs> you have to subscribe to my channel and come visit me often Thank you guys. I love you all. See you next time.